as in this video I want to give you some extra problems to do on uh, our art length topic so let's gonna write down our topic of the day which is obviously trigonometry but we're gonna give you some more problems on art length and this time we're gonna actually give you some real world problems other than just random numbers throwing in your face so art length real world problems all right so our first problem uh, have the context that we have a clock all right let's go ahead and draw a clock which is just a circle obviously because I don't know how, to, how a clock is supposed to look like so and we have a minute hand which is supposed to be really long so let's just so that's our radius so 12 centimeters that's um, how long our minute hand is and we want to find out how much uh, the minute hand moved in 20 minutes well uh, we don't know yet the angle or anything like that. So let's go and find out how many minutes is in a full 360 degrees rotation. Now we know that, that the answer is going to be um, 60. So 60 minutes uh, and we know that 20 out of 60 is equal to one third. So one third of the full rotation which is also 120 degrees and if we go ahead and change that into radians, we will realize that it is 120 pi over 180 because we multiply that pi over 180. And that will simplify to 2 pi over 3. So our angle that we're creating is going to be uh, 2 pi over 3. And uh, this arc length right here, let's go and write down our equation. It's going to be s is equal to uh, radius multiplied by pi, in, uh, not pi, uh, data in radians. So we can go ahead and plug in the, var the variables uh, that we know, which is s is equal to uh, 12 multiplied by uh, 2 pi over 3. And we will get the answer of uh, 8 pi. So we know that this length right here is equal to 8 pi. So there we go, we solve our first question. Let's go ahead and do another one. So, um, this one is also going to be a real world problem. Uh, it says a railroad curve is to be laid onto a circle. So let's go ahead and have a circle right here. Now the railroad curve is to be, laid. okay, so let's go ahead and draw a curve. So, first of all, uh, the radius, oh, it, it says we need to find the radius uh, that we should use if we want the track to change directions by 25 degrees. So let's go and have 25. And it also tells us that we want uh, the arc, that we want the curve to be a distance of 120 meters. To find out what the length um, radius uh, we should use. So let's go and find out. So first of all, we need to go ahead and change 25 degrees into radians. So we get to multiply that by pi over 180. And we get 25 pi over 180. And we can simplify that down to 36 over 5, I mean 5 pi over 36. And uh, we have 120 meters here, so let's try to write out our equation. So s is equal to radius times pi. Oh, made that mistake again. It's data, not pi. I, apparently I love pi. That's, that's the deal here. So, um, now in this case, we don't actually want to find uh, s. We, don't, we know the, what the curve is, so we want to find radius. Now, to get radius by itself, we're going to divide both sides by data. Oops. And we will we'll get uh, radius is equal to uh, the arc divided by data. So we can go ahead and plug in the, va uh, the variables that we know to solve this equation. So uh, radius is equal to 120 divided by 5 pi over 36, which can also be written like this, 120 
over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of 5 pi over 36, which can be written like this. And we can go ahead and simplify that like so. So now we will end up with um, 200. And uh, we'll end up, actually, we'll end up with 864 over pi. And that is uh, approximately 275 meters. All right, easy enough. Let's do another question. Um, in this question, it's just a regular uh, number given. It's not really uh, a real world question, but that's fine. Extra practice is always good. So we have a central angle in a circle. All right. And that angle is uh, and that angle uh, is what we want to find. So we also know that uh, the radius is 30 centimeters, and that the arc is six centimeters. So this is going to be a small arc, and this is definitely not drawn to scale. So don't mind that. We're going to want to find what data is. And how about we find data in degrees? So data in degrees. So let's go ahead and write out our equation again. S is equal to radius multiplied by data. Now we want to get data by itself. So we divide both sides by radius and we get data is equal to uh, the arc divided by the radius. So we can go ahead and plug in the variables we know, and we can solve this, basically. So data is equal to 6 over 30, and that is equal to 1 fifth radians. Now to go ahead and uh, change this into degrees, we are going to go ahead and uh, multiply it by 180 over pi. So 1 fifths multiply by 180 over pi, that is going to be 36 divided by pi, which is approximately 11.46 degrees. All right, there you go. I gave you some extra practice problems for our arc length lesson. And in this video, I actually give you some problems that are not only the S equals R data. This time I gave you the uh, R equals S over data, and also uh, data is equal to S divided by R. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope you found this helpful. Alright, I'll see you in the next video, and uh, bye. Yeah.